just want to get a disclaimer out of the way. I am not affiliated with Meta, Quest, Oculus, or Facebook, or any third-party developers mentioned. All apps, installations, modifications, or siloing processes shown are performed at your own risk. Installing apps outside the official MetaQuest store may void a warranty or violate Meta's terms of service. Always ensure you're using trusted sources, understand the potential security and privacy risks, and comply with local laws and platform guidelines. By following any tutorial or advice provided here, you acknowledge and accept full responsibility for any outcomes or damages to your device, software, or data. And on to the actual video. In this video, I'll show you how to install APKs on your Quest directly. No need for a PC or phone. The featured app, my newest obsession, Destiny Rising. Yes, this is running right from my Quest 3. There's no streaming involved. There is no virtual desktop, no Steam streaming. It's running and installed directly on the Quest 3. Pretty damn sweet if you ask me. First up, you need mobile VR station. If you're a veteran to my channel, then you are thinking it doesn't work anymore. Bro, my videos have always worked until they don't work anymore. And right now it is working. There's actually a special trick and we're going to get to that. So keep watching and make sure you follow along. So go ahead go to the Meta Store and get this downloaded and installed. Now go to your app library and click on the three dots under mobile VR station and click on settings. Now click on release channels and change the prompt to old Oculus version opt-in. This is the trick. This is the important part. This is the one that everyone's going to copy me and scam and all that other stuff. But just so you know, you saw it here first. Now go back to the app library and click on the three dots underneath mobile VR station and click on update. It's going to disappear and reappear in just a moment. Now go to your browser and search for Zarkarver APK Pure. Click on this link. Download Zarkiver. Once downloaded, open Mobile VR Station. If you are following if you followed along earlier, then you can follow along now. Now with mobile VR station open, go to local files, all folders, Android, data, scope storage actions. Yes, scope storage actions is back because you follow along. Good job. Step one, request access. When the next window appears, go to downloads and install Zarkiver by clicking on the quad arrows in the app area. Now close out of mobile VR station. It's going to crash, no worries, it just does that. Now open your internet browser and search for Destiny Arising APK Pure and click on this link. It is super important to install the latest version of Destiny Arising or it just won't work. It's not going to update. It's just going to stall out. Very important you install the latest version. And that said, the version on screen may be different than the latest version available. Just follow along what I'm doing here and it'll show you what the latest version of the app that's on the website is available. Now download the XAPK file.
Now go to Unknown Sources and open Sarchiver. Go to Downloads and Unpack. Install the Destiny Rising APK file. Once installed, open Destiny Rising from unknown sources. It will take ages to download and install and prepare for that first time, <laughs> but it's it, it's going to get there. Just let it do its thing and you'll be good to go. Now here's how you get your account signed in. I'm using Apple and if Apple works for signing into this, that means anything is going to work when signing into this. So let's get to it. First, create a guest account. Wait until you get control of Wolf. Then click on the player center. Click on the log out button here. Confirm that the guest account is going to be lost. That's fine, it's just a base account. Well, with wool, no worries. Now, when you return to the title screen, click on the person on the right and sign in with your bound account. Here, I'm using my Apple. I'm not going to show you any of my credentials stuff because you really don't need to see all that. So, ha, blurred. Once you're good, you are good. You're going to be able to log in and get playing. So the game is absolutely ridiculously optimized. I am super impressed with it. I'm not glazing. It is absolutely phenomenal how this is running just on the Quest 3. The Quest 3 is a pretty crazy piece of hardware, but still, it is so cool seeing this work so well. I highly recommend playing with a PS4, PS5 remote that is Bluetooth paired to your headset. The Quest, <coughs> the Quest controllers technically work, but they are so damn wonky that I, yeah, I don't know what even to compare it to. They work, but it's like a mix of a touchscreen and controllers, and it is just bizarre. So I just don't do it. You could also pair a Bluetooth mouse and keyboard to the Quest 3 and use it just like that, just like a computer. It works really great. I have a video on how to actually pair a keyboard and mouse to your Quest 3 as well. And that's it. Thanks for watching. Let me know if you got it going. Let me know if you have any questions. And remember, this works for any APK install installation as well as XAPKs using Zarchiver. And with that, Bearski's back, and Bearski is out. Bye, guys.